kwamba nimkaribishe shangazi Fatma hali yako vipi habari za siku tumefurahi kuwa na wewe na kama nyanchi alivyosema hii ni area yako uh, wewe umbe specialize kwenye masuala ya investment uh, investment lawyer lakini also haya mambo ya bilateral agreements kwa hiyo naomba nikukaribishe sasa e, ili utupe elimu darasa tumekaa tayari na peni zetu <laughs> karibu sana shangazi kwanza hi Maria long hi, time hatujaongea siku nyingi siku nyingi sana mm. i hope you find my dear yeah hope everything is very okay. well I'm yes. glad I'm glad yes. sasa um, yes nimekaa nime kimya for a while kwa sababu jamani Tanzania kuna mambo kwa hivyo sasa nyingine bora <laughs> bora ujibanze tu kwenye kona yako uache watu wana usikilize usikilize unachea watu wanapigana wana tu um, kitu cha kwanza nataka kuongea hili swali la uzanzibari sikiliza ndio ndio uh-huh. um, mimi kuitwa mzanzibari I'm very proud of it. Mimi ni mzanzibari. There is no doubt kwenye akili yangu kabisa kwamba mimi natoka upande wa Zanzibar kwenye muungano wa Tanganyika na Zanzibar. Hilo sijawahi kukataa na sidhani mzanzibari yoyote anakataa kuitwa mzanzibari. Kwa hivyo kama mnadhani mimi kuitwa mzanzibari na hisi kama mnanibagua no hamnibagui i'm very proud kuwa mzanzibari na tunatoka upande mmoja wa huu muungano e, kitu nilokuwa sijapenda ni watu kutoka kwenye swali la la mikataba hii mikataba na kujadili hoja na kuanza kusema kwamba e, wazanzibari wanatuuza this i don't like kwa sababu kwenye serikali ya United Republic of Tanzania na mwanash, kuna mwanasheria mkuu anaitwa Feleshi na ni msukuma mtu wa bara na yeye ndio chini ya sheria ya nchi yetu hawezi mbarawa kusign mkataba wowote bila ya idhini ya mwanasheria mkuu kwa hivyo yeye kazi yake ni kupitia mikataba hii na kuhakikisha kwamba hii mikataba inalinda maslahi ya nchi na yeye ndio anatoa idhini kwamba na anamshauri eh, rais na anamshauri eh, waziri mbarawa kwa hivyo tusianze na ana department nzima chini yake na nadhani tukitizama hiyo department ya ya wanasheria tutakuta ni wanasheria wa bara kwa hivyo tusianze kugawa ili jambo tukasema wa Zanzibar wanatuuza kwa sababu hakuna mzanzibari alotaka kuuza bandari la la la, la Dar es Salaam okay kwa hivyo let's not tu, tutizame hoja tutizame hoja na tuone kwa maslahi mapana ya nchi yetu sote sio tuanze kurushiana madongo ya uzanzibari na wazanzibari wanataka kukuzeni this is not true pili nadhani swali la la, la nani uh, mboe kumwambia rais kwamba be careful nimesikia nimesoma nuku yake nilivotafsiri mimi nuku ya mboe ni kwamba anasema t- fanya tahadhari mheshimiwa rais kwa sababu wewe ni mzanzibari halafu waziri alo sign hii ni mzanzibari fanya tahadhari kwa sababu hii kitu inaweza ku- kuleta mantiki mbaya kama vile wazanzibari impression yeah Ehe, impression mbaya this yeah. is what i understood the, yes yes this is yes, how and that's i what he understood said. this is okay. how i understood lakini hili swala ni swala la la, la political uh, political maturity na political awareness kwa sababu as far as i'm concerned na na hapa tuwe sorry i'm going to take a little bit of time na, naomba unisamehe maria tuwe careful as far as i'm concerned it's okay kama mm-hmm. mzanzibari mimi napiga kelele sana nikiona kwamba wizara ya mambo ya ndani hakuna mzanzibari kwamba ni mtanganyika ndio waziri alafu hakuna mzanzibari uh, uh, kwa mfano na umepita wakati kulikuwa kuna mzanzibari nasema ah, sasa kwa nini hakuna mzanzibari kwa hivyo ni wakati nafikiri wakati wa kujenga eh, eh, baraza la mawaziri 
Um, ni, ni kawaida watu kutizama kanda, kutizama kabila na kuhakikisha kwamba kuna kuna diversity kwenye baraza la mawaziri lakini pia sio tu diversity na, na, na this is important na pia kuhakikisha kwamba watu wanojua maswali fulani wanawekwa kwenye nafasi zao uh, huwezi just because unataka diversity ukamchukua msukuma for example na msukuma eh, eh, kama atapewa ata, 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 ata hii recording kusikia eh, ni mtani wangu ukamweka awe eh, eh, waziri wa katiba na sheria uh, <laughs> <laughs> with due respect msukuma ili upate diversity kwa sababu uh, japo kuwa ana ile phd yake ile special ile um, it will be very hard kuwa na legitimacy ya msukuma uh, kuwa waziri wa katiba na sheria kwa hivyo of course una take into consideration experience na nini lakini so i mimi kusema la kweli nimemwelewa um, eh, eh, mboe na sijaona kwamba alikuwa anabagua more likely alikuwa ana advise okay which is fine so i don't have a problem with that however nataka niwaambie watanzania kwamba tuache hili swali kwamba wazanzibar wanatuuzia bandari yetu hakuna mtu anakuuzia ni bandari yenu I, i don't think sisi kama wazanzibar tunataka kuuza bandari yenu Uh, this is not the point na kuna jamani anzeni kutizama wanasheria wenu wamekuuzeni wao sio sisi wa Zanzibar so tuanze kutizama hii agreement nataka kutizama hii agreement kitu kilo ni sumbua ni kwamba sijawahi kuona bilateral investment treaty na mnaweza kuni naomba watu kama mnaweza kunisaidia Uh, I don't mind ilokuwa so one sided like this one Tanzania imeingia kwenye bilateral investment treaty na Dubai ilokuwa aimed at protecting DPW Tanzania sisi hatujapata chochote out of this Atari <laughs> Atari <laughs> eh, tume and uh, kusema la haki alivyokuwa anasema nyanje kwamba ni colonial colonial agreements eh, ni colonial sijawahi kuona uh, bilateral investment treaty ilikuwa wa Tanzania tupate chochote um, why am i saying this purpose nzima ya hii bilateral investment treaty ni ku protect DPW na subsidiary zake zozote zitao ingia kwenye mkataba na TPA Tanzania Ports Authorities uh, hususan mkataba kama zitaingia kwenye mkataba na TPA kuendesha gati la bandari la Dar es Salaam na bandari nyingine zozote. Hii ndio aim the main aim ya hii bilateral investment treaty. Eh, kawaida bilateral investment treaties ni reciprocal. Kuna reciprocation of rights na obligations. Hapa sio ni reciprocation ya rights na obligation yoyote ndugu zangu. Na nasema kweli hakuna reciprocation ya rights and obligation sijui nani can negotiate this bilateral investment treaty by na sisi na dubai kwa sababu na naita ni investment treaty ya ku protect dpw naweza kuelewa kwa nini dubai wametaka wametaka hii investment treaty kwa sababu of course hatuna reputation nzuri sana kama tanzania ya ku ya kuheshimu mikataba eh, serikali ikifanya mikataba na wawekezaji tuna reputation baya ya kuto kuheshimu mikataba kwa hivyo naelewa kwa nini dubai wanataka dpw eh, ipewe protection ya ki, ki international law international treaty protection ya state 
naelewa hilo lakini swali nilotaka kuwa, nataka kuuliza serikali ya Tanzania what do we get out of this nataka kumuuliza feleshi what did we get out of this kwa sababu there has to be reciprocation what is the reciprocation yani ni kama reciprocation kwa Kiswahili ni kama malipo au upande wa pili yani unapata nini eh kwa sababu unajua kuna binadamu unaingia kwenye mikataba kama hii states treaties na states wanaingia kwenye treaties sovereign states zinaingia kwenye treaties with other sovereign states ili kupata kupata kitu benefit na kuna reciprocation flani I'm sorry to say this is one sided na ni treaty ya kikoloni hii treaty nitakupa nita example ni treaty um, na nataka nimwambie feleshi ni treaty kama unajua mjerumani alivyokuwa anakwenda alivyoingia kwanza Tanganyika akafika Iringa sijui wapi akakuta wale machief tena Iringa waligombana naye lakini anyway waka sign these treaties. U, unaelewa Maria eh? au wa Marekani walivyo with the Native Americans wanawapa vikaratasi vile wanawapa na mwamvuli wana na, na bunduki wana sign zile treaty kabla hujajua ushagawa ushagawa kil, Kilimanjaro ni ni mali ya Queen, Queen Victoria. Tumeelewana eh? wewe hujaelewa. So it is almost it is sad that we could enter a bilateral investment treaty that is this one sided so nataka kusema kitu changine nataka kusema with respect nyanje nyanje ndio ndio nyanje kasema kwamba kaji kaji tathmini alivyosikia serikali ya Tanzania ina 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 nini inajitetea akaanza kujitathmini akaanza kuuliza watu do i know international law uh, anaanza kuuliza wanza nataka nimweleze nyanje kitu mtu yoyote alokuwa ana ana common sense na ana anaweza ni mtu wa maana lazima akisikia argument ilokuwa in ni contrary to argument yake atajitathmini atajiuliza this is normal lakini aelewe kitu kimoja hakuna serikali nafikiri afrika nzima ilokuwa hodari kwa kugaslight kama serikali ya united republic of tanzania sio tu serikali ya samia sulu lakini kabla ni, ni, ni kama ni, ni damu yetu imekuwa hivyo we very serikali zetu very good at gaslighting watafanya mambo ya ajabu alafu wata wataendelea hivyo hivyo na wat, watakufanya watakwambia wewe ndio umekosea na ukiwa mtu wa, ma, wa mwenye akili of course utaji uta, utauliza maybe i was wrong hebu nitizame nini and then they'll drive you crazy this is something that has been plaguing me for the last 30 years working in the United Republic of Tanzania they are gaslighters par extraordinaire hakuna kama hawa hatari tupu ndio sasa nataka nikwambie ni kitu nyanja is right This is a bilateral investment treaty in no protect DPW in the event DPW inaingia kwenye host government agreement na United Republic of Tanzania in other words uh, TPA kuendesha bandari ku develop na kuendesha bandari la Dar es Salaam au bandari nyingine yoyote ya, ya Tanzania. Eh naelewa kwa nini kuna watu wanasema kwamba huu mkataba ni wa milele. So let me explain. 
tatizo wa mkataba huu tuseme uh, DPW wanaingia kwenye mkataba wa kuendesha gati la Dar es Salaam na TPA kawaida tunaita hii mikataba concession concession agreements wanapata concession tatizo ni hili jamani eh nataka kumuuliza feleshi umesoma article 7 73 ili kuwaje wewe feleshi attorney general umempa eh, haki mtu mmoja serikali ya Dubai veto right right ya kutu veto sisi kama hatutaki kuendelea na concession in other words concession unajua TPA inaanza kuingia kwenye concession ni miaka 20 miaka 30 na DPW exactly okay mm-hmm. lakini au miaka mitano na DPW lakini feleshi katuingiza kwenye mkataba unosema kama hiyo concession imekwisha hatuwezi kuistop hapo lazima tuendelee nayo tu, tu renew unless tunapata idhini ya Dubai ya serikali ya Dubai are you serious in other words umechukua sovereignty yetu umeapa serikali ya Dubai haki yetu ya kuata mkataba ukija ukimalizika mwisho mkataba baina sisi concession baina TPA na DPW hata pale umekwisha after 20 years lazima tuombe idhini ya Dubai kama tunataka ku stop can you believe it can you believe it ni hatari sana so these are the sort of things mimi sielewi i'm shocked i'm shocked alafu kawapa guarantee ya stabilization St- kawaika stabilization kwamba eh, nini concession baina TPA na 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 DPW lazima itakuwa na stabilization clause sasa nataka kuelezea ni stabilization clause maana yake ni nini. Stabilization clause ni kwamba inasema siku ile wewe umeingia kwenye ule mkataba sheria za nchi zilokuwepo siku ile ndio zita apply na zikibadilika hazito apply kwako. tumeelewana eh tuseme st- ukiweka stabilization e, e, clause kwa ukiweka e, kwa fiscal kwa fiscal stabilization clause let's say unaweka fiscal stabilization mm-hmm. clause mm-hmm. so fiscal stabilization clause kila mwaka serikali ina inatoa bajeti okay so let me make it clear kwenye hum kataba kuna kwenye hii bilateral treaty Uh, Dubai wamekubali kwamba DPW ita, itafuata tax regime ya Tanzania. Okay? Uh, lakini tatizo ni hili. Ukishaweka stabilization clause judge Feleshi, you have a problem on your hand. There's the 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 tax regime is stabilized at the time you sign the agreement. Kwa hiyo wakiongeza wakiongeza kodi hai hai ya hai yeah. Watatu, watatumia ile ile kodi ambayo waliikuta walivoanza mkataba. Yeah, lakini wakitukipunguza kodi ita wanaweza kuweka it depends how they negotiate TPA negotiates the stabilization clause na DPW. Umenelewa lakini there has to be a stabilization clause. So these are the sort of things that are of great great concern. Um, and uh, lakini nataka kueleza kitu kingine. 
nakubaliana na 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 nyanje kwamba this is an agreement ino inoweka foundations za future agreement ni kama inaweka foundation inaitwa nini kwa Kiswahili kuweka msingi 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 wa concession agreement by na TPA na DPW kwa hivyo concession agreement yoyote by na TPA na DPW itokuja in the future lazima i take into consideration hivi vitu vilokuwa kwenye kwenye hii um, uh, bilateral investment treaty uh, baina ya Dubai na Tanzania so uh, my view is um, the idea the idea of investment kuwa na investors waingize pesa zao kwenye bandari zetu na kuziendesha uh, sio mbaya hata kama ni ni waarabu wa china uh, whatever sio idea hiyo sio mbaya kitu kibaya ni sisi ku ku, 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 ku kuingia kwenye treaties na serikali uh, nyingine ilokuwa one sided utafikiri sisi ni machief tulokuwa hatuja hatuna hatuna hatujasoma and uh, tumeletewa lugha kikaratasi kimeandikwa kwenye lugha hatuielewi wakati tunaelewa hiyo lugha um, na in to bind in ways which are detrimental to our national interests so i for those reasons i i i, I think kuna certain clauses in this bilateral investment treaty that should not that should have been renegotiated and i also think When you enter a bilateral treaty with a government don't make it just about the government the state such as Dubai protecting just one entity try we should have entered a bilateral investment treaty which was wider we should have negotiated harder we should have entered a treaty which was wider which would have pre- protected hata sisi wa Tanzania kwa sababu wapo Tanzania walio invest Dubai pia. Tulio invest Dubai. Lakini this is a one way ticket. It, ni ticket iliyokuwa ina protect DPW without reciprocation na protection ya wa Tanzania. Asante. Asante sana shangazi naona hapo watu wanashtuka shtuka sana walikuwa hata hawajui vitu vingine hii stabilization clause kwanza tayari tu ishachanganya <laughs> watu <laughs> kwa hiyo kuna maswali mengi na nashukuru na pia kulikuwa na maneno maneno mengi sana kuhusiana na hili ambalo umeligusia vizuri uh, ambayo i think we, we, we will need to probably as we proceed na watakapokuja na mikataba mingine